What's up, y'all? It's Trill, 3Ls, Trend Dollar Man. This is a quick recap of DNA and K Shine on ESPN NFL Countdown. Real quick, I want to say I thought this battle was acted out pretty well. Um, it was set up in the barbershop or whatever. They were both getting lineups and noticed that each other was representing different teams. But um, what I want to say about this battle, if this was an actual battle, I would give it to K Shine because um, K Shine had really more haymakers than me and his punch lines were um were simpler if you don't watch football like that then you will understand his you can still understand what he was saying i feel like dna had more lines that um you had to really watch football you had to really watch the nfl to understand some of the things that he was saying so um some of these things really is not going to resonate with someone with the with the casual the casual fan like you have to be a real hardcore fan to understand what dna was saying so um if it, if it was the actual battle i would give it to kayshawn but it was good on both of their parts man i think it was good for the culture um but i um i i do think that um it can be exploited even though this is good this is good exposure just like um wilding out is doing good for the culture by having uh, a whole battle segment. It's a lot of people that just watch Wild and Out just for that segment where they freestyle and they um they joke on each other. But he got Wild and Nikana has um what's his name? Conceited, Charlie Clips, Hitman Holla, two no three notable people in battle rap on the show. And now the NFL has K Sean and DNA, like two of the best the tag team partners in the culture you feel what i'm saying so i feel like if we don't control it it will be exploited and it will be bad for the culture it'll be watered down because um even though i like this i mean the other people they they're they not gonna get it it's just like um crush groove and beach street a lot of break dancers they felt like once um like some of these movies came out it was good exposure, it was good for the culture, but it was also exploited. But um, even though the 80s and 90s was still like the golden era, you still had a lot of the the essence of hip hop still going on. But as the time went on, it started to be watered down. Um, people started coming into the game just to make money off of it, just um, putting us on commercials just so we can be exploited, not really trying to keep the, the essence and the um, authenticity in it. They just want to make money off of it. They just want to, like, again, like I said, for lack of a better word or phrase, just water it down. But um, I feel like we're going we gonna to have another a good 10 years before we start looking at battle rap and really think, like, oh, this is what these new cats are doing? Like, when you look at hip-hop and you look at Lil Uzi Vert or you look at Lil Yachty and some of these other... Um, some of these new rappers that's in the industry a lot of a lot of people that's my age or a lot of people that's older that's that's been listening to hip-hop since the very beginning because i'm still like i'm still at the age where i listen to the the old dudes and i listen to the new new cats but a lot of these older cats they don't like what's going on with hip-hop right now they don't like the whole the whole sound they feel like um hip-hop is gone um is the representation of hip hop is not good right now, and I feel like we all we all know what that is. But I feel like we we have at least another ten years, fifteen years before it starts going down that path. Because like I was saying, the eighties and nineties was the golden era where you had some commercialism in the culture, but you still had a griminess. You still had the authenticity of it. Um, you still had the the rawness of it in the culture and we still we gonna have that for a while man so it ain't ain't nothing really to worry about right now and, um i think do think we need to um start taking some precautions to kind of protect the essence of it um because i really don't see any sub genres of it the reason why hip-hop is still going on because it still has its um battle rap that's kind of like a, a sub genre that's still that's still the um the raw the, you know the raw and has the rawness of it i don't even know like, what else to really say to get my point across? But y'all get what I'm saying, man. But um, I think it's, it's good and bad to everything, man. But um, applaud them, man. Congrats to them.
they basically, you know what I mean, kicking down another door for the culture. People that are not into battle rap. Also, like, the people that was on the, um, in the room, Randy Mars and some of the other people, were like, they were, they was into it, man. They were saying that, uh, I think Randy was standing up when the whole, when they were showing the, the commercial or whatever, because he, he, know, he know he into it. He know he, um, he wanted to start rapping and all that, but some of them in there, you could tell they was, they was trying to act like they was interested, but they really didn't care. They really didn't care what was going on, like, with Rand, like Randy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, it was just funny because they didn't know DNA or K Shine. They were saying like, "Yeah, I thought the the guy that was representing the Cowboys won, or I thought the guy that was representing the Green Bay won. He had the G on his shirt. I, I he won. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't know what was going on. But it's funny, man. It's all it's all um, it's all cool, man. But uh, if y'all haven't seen it, then y'all gonna have to watch it. If y'all got it on your DVR or whatever. But if you seen it, let me know how you feel about it. Comment, rate. Hit that subscribe button. Trill 3L's Tree and Dollar Man, y'all. Peace.